Good evening. This is Midwest Sports Now. I'm Joey McWilliams from the MidwestSports.net studio. News from the weekend. After 35 years at the helm, Oklahoma Baptist University head baseball coach Bobby Cox is stepping down. He led the Bison to four NAI World Series appearances, two NCCAA National Championships, a conference tournament championships in the GAC in Division II this past spring, and a pair of Division II NCAA Central Regional berths. He had a career record of 1,378 and 643. That is a 682 winning percentage. He never had a losing season in 35 years at the helm. Of course, he went to the NAI World Series with the Oklahoma Baptist Bison in 1989, 1996. 2011 and 2014. Now, during the years of transition from the NAIA to the NCAA Division II, the Bison could compete in the NAIA that first year. The second and third years, though, they could not compete in the postseason in the NAIA nor in Division II, and so they competed with the National Christian College Athletic Association. And in those two years, in 2016 and 2017, they won national championships, including a walk-off Grand Slam win back in 2016. Since leading the Bison to Division II, a successful run there as well with central regional berths in both 2018 and 2019. The final two losses for Coach Bobby Cox at the helm at Oklahoma Baptist were to Augustana in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But by the way, his team went 2-2 two and two in that central regional as the number eight seed. Bobby Cox the 35-year head coach at Oklahoma Baptist stepping down. Well, we have learned today that Oklahoma Baptist is promoting from within as they move up assistant coach Chris Cox, the son of Bobby Cox. He will be the new head coach for OBU. He played baseball at Northern Oklahoma Junior College in Tonkawa and for the Oklahoma Baptist Bison as well. As a senior, he batted 319, had two home runs, eight doubles, and 40 RBI. Chris Cox, the new head coach, at Oklahoma Baptist. To Sioux Center, Iowa now, where Dort University has been announcing some of the athletes that have declared their intentions to play with the Defenders in 2019 and beyond. One of those is Emma Veenstra, and she's going to be a two-sport star for Dort right off the bat. She has announced her intention to play as a softball player and a basketball player as well. Now, in softball, Veenstra last season batted 519, 33 RBI and eight home runs. She helped her team to a third-place finish in the high school state softball tournament, and she also claimed first-team All-State honors as well in softball. In basketball last year, she averaged 9 points, 6.7 rebounds, and totaled 123 assists. She's the single-season leader and the all-time leader in her high school in assist at Des Moines Christian. She was a first-team all-conference player in basketball as well. Now, her basketball coach or future basketball coach, Coach Bill Harmson at Dort, said this about her. He talked about her toughness as a competitor, her high basketball IQ, her character as a student athlete, and I like this a lot. Emma's faith is important to her and is a great fit for our program and our team culture. Emma Veenstra will be playing with the defenders at Dort in 2019. And finally tonight, the coaching carousel in basketball, well, it continues into late May and into June. We learned today that Aaron Coombs, following one season at the helm at Oklahoma Panhandle State, is announcing his departure from the Aggies to pursue another coaching opportunity. We'll find out what that is, I'm sure, very soon. Coombs led the Aggies to their first winning season in many, many years as Oklahoma Panhandle State had a 16-14 and 14 overall record and went 10-12 and 12 in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Coombs came to Goodwill, Oklahoma, from St. Joseph, Missouri, where he spent five seasons as an assistant coach at Missouri Western. And in today's tie-in, he got his start in coaching, spending two seasons as an assistant coach at Northern Oklahoma College in Tonkawa, which is where Chris Cox had played as well. That's today's tie-in. We also learned on Friday that the coaching vacancy at Oklahoma City University for the men's basketball program has been filled. That uh, was There was a vacancy there following the departure of Vinay Patel to head to NCAA Division II Northwestern Oklahoma State in Alva. And after five seasons as the lead man in Langston, Stan Holt is headed to OCU. He joins the Stars after leading Langston 
with a record of 107 and 50 in his five seasons there. Three national tournament appearances in the NAI tournament during those five seasons. He won the 2016 Red River Athletic Conference Tournament title. His team had a 25-7 and record then. And also Langston went 3-3 three and three in the NAI National Tournament under Holt, whereas previously Langston had made three appearances and not ever won a game in the NAI Tournament. So Holt leads the Lions in, and the Stars hope that he will lead them well as well. Holt was three times named the HoopDirt.com National Coach of the Year. We'll also get a chance to visit with him on MidwestSports.now, hopefully a little bit later on this week. That is all for now. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Now, and please do like and subscribe and share if you can, and tune in again for more at MidwestSports.now. And as my daughter's boyfriend says, go sports. Thanks for watching. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you. Have a great one.